Our time of confession and our assurance both come from Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. In it, we read these words. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways, but in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he also made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for how you spoke to the people of Israel and to all the world through your prophets in ages past. And thank you that even now you have poured out your gift of prophecy upon many people. But Lord, more than that, more than any spiritual gift that you may give us, we thank you for your Son for his coming, for his speaking to us, for him becoming the heir of all things. Lord, we confess that there are many times where we do not listen to your son. Oh, we have heard his words. We have heard his teaching and his commands. We have heard all the stories of how he lived and walked and talked among us for so long. And we know about how he is risen from the dead and he is seated at the right hand of you, O oh Father. But yet, sometimes we confess that we do not listen. To him. Lord, we pray that as we take a moment of silence, you would hear our confession, our confession about all those times during our week where we have not listened to the voice of your Son, speaking through the power of the Holy Spirit, speaking through scriptures, speaking through the stories that we know of him. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing our prayer. Thank you also for your forgiveness, which is also brought to us through your Son, Jesus. Lord, we praise your name, that the word that you have spoken to us through Jesus, the creator and sustainer of all things, that that word is a yes to us that if we will simply receive your grace and forgiveness, that you, with your arms wide open, embrace us as your children. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.